Hey guys, welcome to my first uh, milestone. Um, I want to apologize. Work was a lot busier than I wanted it to be. Uh, I got out later and I'm not really feeling too great. So it's not completely where I want it to be. I'm not too happy about it, but um, I will say I am happy with how much I've gotten done so far. I've just got to do a couple more tweaks, and then we've finally got the tower together. Now, you might be wondering what tower. There's just one floor. So, for those of you that don't know, my... Um, what the hell? Oh. For those of you that don't know, the video, the um, level that I'm doing is a zombie, a Call of Duty Zombies level. Um, I'm using the mod tools to make this level. And I'm drawing my inspiration from a, an abandoned psychiatric hospital that's like 15 minutes away from my house. Uh, it's called Terrence Tower. And it was opened up f to help the uh, mentally ill. And it was like called the Tower of Hope. But then it closed in 1995 and has been abandoned and sitting to rot ever since. <laughs> So it's been sitting there for 25 years and they still haven't done anything with it yet. Um, if you guys want to look it up on Google, it's, uh, yeah, just type in Terrence Tower, Rochester, New York. Um, and it, it is a freaky building. It's uh, 17 stories and um, it's a little freaky just when you drive by it. It's like the only tower in the area, so it stands out. And it's just, oh, God, it's freaky. But as of 2019, I've heard that there was, like, a plan, like a several million dollar plan to remove the asbestos, asbestos, asbestos in the building and then destroy, demolish it and um, do a bunch of things with, like, a hotel and um, shopping and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's filled with asbestos, so that's another big thing. Um, but I wanted to do my level based on that and i've got a bunch of pictures to go off of there's a couple things that i just noticed that i'm starting to fix too um the windows i thought all the windows were just like one going all the way down but they're not so where is this so i have to uh, mess with it of course it's the last side it's actually one two and then four and then one so i'm gonna have to do that with this side that side and that side um but so far, here's what I've been doing. This week, I wanted to get the whole um, general layout of the first floor. So I made all the rooms, got used a model for the door, and um, I got all the elevators situated, like the openings for the elevators. I've gotten the stairs all situated, and I'll go up for a second. So I've got the stairs situated, the openings for the elevator situated, and then all I need to do is once I finish up adding this end right here on both on both sides and fixing the windows, my plan, I'm not going to do 17 stories like the building really is because we've only got so much time for this project. So I cut it down to, I think I have 12 floors, not including the basement. This is technically going to be the basement. Um... So I'm going to have the basement, and then I'm going to copy and paste this 12 times going up um, and layer it on top of each other. So that way, when I copy and paste, the stairs should continue all the way up. The elevator, the holes in the top for the elevator should continue all the way up. That way, I've got my elevator shafts. And then I got the generic layout for the floors. So that way, when I copy and paste, I've got a generic layout going all the way up. Um... And I'll have a total of 12 floors, 13 counting the basement. And it's all set up, ready to go. Um, what, what else did I need to do? Um, sorry about the, all the ums, guys. I also uh, got a bunch of models sitting here ready, like the pack-a-punch machine, the power switch, a couple of different beds that I want to do, um, some doors. And uh, I'm not going to do all, even though I have 12 floors, that's what I wanted to talk about. Even though I have 12 floors, not all of them are going to be playable. So I think I've only got out of the 12 floors, six 
better. Let me look at my guide. I believe... Yeah, only six floors are going to be play um, playable, which is nice. So all the other floors won't be touched. They'll just be there for, like, show, and I won't do anything with them. So whatever this general layout's going to be on those floors, it's going to stay that way. I'm not going to do any changes at all. That might do some addition. Um, I might do a couple of changes for certain floors, and I might get rid of some of these walls and doors for certain floors. Um, let me just let you guys know what the floors are. One floor I copied. I've never been in this building, so I have no idea what the layout of this building in the inside is. I'm just guessing. I know that's pretty terrible, but I do know what the outside look up, looks like. I have a bunch of pictures of the inside that I can kind of get an idea, but I really wish... A part of me really wants to get sneak into the building. It's very heavily secured, um, but I really want to get in there once before they demolish it. Just to, I'm very fascinated with abandoned buildings, so I re would really love to get in there just to check it out for myself. But all I can go off of right now are pictures from the outside and the inside of people that have already gotten inside. Um, but one floor I really wanted to have access to for the, the for the game was the fifth floor. Because apparently when the building was in service, each floor was a different department. And the fifth floor held the criminally insane individuals, patients. Which I thought was crazy when I heard that, like one whole floor just for the criminally insane. Could you imagine working on that floor? That's that had to have been creepy. Um, so what I'm gonna do for those floors, I wanted to keep that floor, and that's why I've got. Um, I'm gonna do different doors. So I've got these doors for all the other floors, but then I'm gonna do for the criminally insane floors, like these uh, bolted steel doors with just a slot in the bottom. And apparently, also, the building was very color-coded. Each floor was um, a different color. Just, uh, I'm guessing it's for the patients. I, I don't know. But each floor had a different color. I've seen some people break in and look through all the floors, and one floor was, like, all pink. One floor was all yellow. One floor was all blue, all red. So what I'm going to do is, for the criminally insane floor, I'm just going to do it red. Um, and then for the other floors... I've got floor three is yellow, five is red, seven is pink, 11 is green, nine is orange. And the 11th floor is going to be, and I even put a nice little list for myself for all the, I've already laid out what I want on every floor as far as perks go, weapons go, where the mystery box is going to go, which floor gets pack-a-punch, which floor is the power. So th floor three is going to be like showers and like basically just the cleaning floor. Then there's the criminal psych level. Then seven is going to be cafeteria, so I'll get rid of a lot of the rooms and just open it up a lot. So seven floor will be a, the floor that has the most room to kind of like run around for the zombies. Nine, I kind of want to make a maze of where, you know, like some uh, some parts of the hallways are blocked off, so it forces you to go through certain uh, rooms and go through, like, busted walls, to, you know, just kind of, like, working your way through the floors. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go all the way up. So you'll only... So let's say you access the floor through these stairs, and I'll have... I'll, force the player to kind of like have to go all the way around in a maze because certain parts are blocked off and whatnot all and then eventually get to these stairs to go to the next level so i kind of want to make like a maze and the only thing on the maze floor will be like these two weapons and the pack-a-punch since it's a maze and i'll just have it in certain spots and then the 11th floor is a hospital they said that the hospital, the general hospital for the building in real life, was split between the 13th and 14th floor. But since I cut it down, obviously I had to make a change. So the so there's going to be the roof. And the general hospital is going to be on the 11th floor. 
and the no access would have been probably the other part of the hospital. But so the no accesses are floors that won't be touched. And we'll just be kind of like for show. So now all I need to do is cop is just finish the windows on that side, finish the windows on this side, make it look good, make it look just like this for over there. Um, I believe same thing with this over here and a couple more details on the outside. Finish this opening, finish this uh, part of the building here and here, and then just select everything, copy and paste 12 times. And then just, uh, I'm all set. Like I said, I wish I could have gotten more to more of this. I wish I would have gotten out earlier for work. And I wish I was feeling a little bit better, but you do what you can. Um, got work tomorrow. When I get home from work, I'll definitely get as much of this done as I can and get those floors set up. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I've got off. So I'll just hammer this out, get as much of stuff done for next week as I need to. So hopefully next week's milestone video, you'll guys see a lot more. You'll guys see all the floors and a couple other things added on each floor. There's a little bit of me that feels like I bit off more than I can chew. I'm glad I knocked it from 17 to like 12 floors because that just would have been a nightmare. And since I don't know what is, I feel like I'm helping myself since I don't know the layout and I'm just kind of making a general floor layout just to copy and paste this. And I'm glad I did, came up with this idea to copy and paste because I don't think it, it would take forever just to make one floor, then do wall, 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 all the way around, do the same exact thing going all the way up. So I'm glad I kind of like came up with this short shortcut just to be like, I hate this sometimes. I hate selecting that outer shell because then you can't deselect it no matter how hard you try you would think oh wow first time for everything okay so i was like yeah thinking about just selecting everything like this you know and then just copy and paste did you just select all the windows okay before I start rambling some more, I'll leave you guys alone to get you to your own projects. And uh, we'll see you next week. And good luck, guys. Darn it.